Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x plus y, this is equal to 6, let's call this equation 1, x times y is equal to 6, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y given that x is not equal to 0 and that y is not equal to 0 as well. So let's prevent the solution from here. Now. From equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 6. Let's make x to be the subject of the formula so that now we have x is equal to 6, subtract y. Let's call this equation 3. Let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2, which is x times y, this is equal to 6. So that now, substituting x, we have y multiplying by 6 minus y, this is equal to 6. So 6 times y, this is 6y, minus y times y, this is y to the power of 2, then this is equal to 6. Let's take 6 on the left hand side, so that now we have 6y minus y to the power of 2, minus 6, this is equal to 0. Let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus y squared plus 6y minus 6, this is equal to 0. Now, let's divide both signs by minus 1 so that we have minus y squared divided by minus 1, this is y to the power of 2 plus 6y divided by minus 1, this is minus 6y. Minus 6 divided by minus 1, this is plus 6, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form ay squared plus by plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, and that c is equal to 6. So, so for y1, comma, y2, we apply the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that now here we have minus minus 6 plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, subtract 4, multiplying by a which is 1, times c which is 6, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. Now here we have minus times minus 6, this is equal to 6, plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, this is 36, minus 4 times 6, this is minus 24, everything here divided by 2. So here we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 24, and this is equal to 12, everything here divided by 2. So now we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 12, which you can express as 4 times 3, everything here, divided by 2. So now here we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 4, this is equal to 2. Then we have square root of 3, divided by 2. The next step is that in the numerator here, 2 is common, so we can factor out 2, so that into the parentheses we have 3 plus or minus square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here, 2 and 2 simplifies. So that now, y1, comma, y2, this is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 3. So we have that y1, this is equal to 3 plus square root of 3. And we have that y2 is equal to 3 minus square root of 3. 
So let's solve for the corresponding values of x. Now from equation 3, x is equal to 6 minus y. So we have that x is equal to 6 minus y. So we have that x1 is equal to 6 minus y1. y1 is 3 plus square root of 3. So here we have 6 minus 3. This is 3 minus times plus square root of 3. This is minus square root of 3. And this implies that the first set of solution here, x1, comma, y1, this is equal to 3 minus square root of 3, comma, 3, plus square root of 3. So this is the first set of solution that we have. So now, let's proceed to solving x2. x2 is equal to 6 minus y2. So here we have 6 subtract y2, which is actually equal to 3, minus square root of 3. Now we have x2 is equal to 6 minus 3. This is 3. Minus times minus square root of 3. This becomes plus square root of 3. So now we have x2, comma y2. This is the second set of solution. We have 3 plus square root of 3. Then 3 minus square root of 3. So this is the second set of solution that we have. So now, the second step is, or the next step is to do the verification. Let's do the verification. Now, if you recall, we have that x plus y, this is equal to 6. And that x multiplied by y, this is equal to 6. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now, from equation 1, let's use the first set of solution here, x1, y1, which is 3 minus square root of 3, and 3 plus square root of 3. So here we have x1, comma y1, which is equal to 3 minus square root of 3, then 3 plus square root of 3. So let's verify this using equation 1 which is 3 plus, that is 3, minus square root of 3, plus 3, plus square root of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 6. Minus square root of 3, plus square root of 3, this simplifies. Then we have 3 plus 3, this is equal to 6, which is equal to 6. So the left, add side is equal to the right add side now let's check x2 y2 from here by applying equation 2 equation 2 we have x times y this is supposed to give us a value of 6 so we have 3 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 3 minus square root of 3 this should give us a value of 6. So we have 3 multiplied by 3 minus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 3 minus square root of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 6. So 3 times 3, this is 9 minus 3 times square root of 3. So this is 3 square root of 3, then plus 3 times square root of 3, so this is 3 square root of 3, then minus, here we have square root of 3 times square root of 3, this should give us a value of 6. Now, minus 3 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3, this simplifies, so that now we have 9 minus square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 
they should give us a value of 6. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, this is in the form of square root of a, times square root of a, and this essentially is equal to a. So this implies that from here, we have this is the same thing as 9 minus 3. This should give us a value of 6. So 9 minus 3, this is equal to 6. And this is equal to 6. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x2, y2 also satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.